Look at our starting lineups powered by unleaded 88 engine smart earth kind and Wooker makes a big difference when she's back. In Big Ten play, they've lost four of their last fights. Samantha Schnitta, their leader offensively and at the service. In a gauntlet portion of the schedule right now, played at Wisconsin last night, lost in a sweep. And then here against Minnesota and Minneapolis. Right there for the pancake, Palabiak. And with the soft shot, McKenna Booker with her first kill. Coach Keegan Cook said it's not just her offense, her heavy arm, but her passing, her defense, her blocking. Here's Groach speaking of heavy arm. Look at cross court and denied by the Gophers. Awalea getting those hands over so fast. Watch this move. Slight hesitation, but still manages to get there because Awalea is so fast from the time that she makes that movement to the time. Get her hands on a lot of sets too, which has allowed more balance and more middle involvement. Again on the slide, but Minity gets it right into the block. Marilyn read that perfectly. Identifying the movements from the middle, making the exact same ones, mirroring the slide attack to put it back down. And they can get those middles involved, diversify that offense. Russ finds the perfect spot for that throw. On, but Russ was out for a few matches earlier this year. That connection's still trying to find its way. So if it's not perfect, expect Russ to throw. She's like, I got to take a full swing. <laughs> Up the middle, Russ, that was well timed by the Terps. Five Gophers between three and one kill in this match so far. Very balanced by Shaftmaster. That's going to get down. A crafty swing by Schnitta. Minnesota can handle that. They're exploiting that middle of the court really well. So much space on the right side of your screen. That's not just in three sets, but it wasn't even the first time in her career having at least 10 blocks in three sets. Just remarkable dominance from <laughs> Alalea, who is a force. Code up front. Anytime she's up there, she's taking full reins of the net, even one-on-one, -on -one, reading it so well. She says it's... Depends on the toss. That dictates how things are going to go. Maryland's block responding right there with the denial. No matter if they're down, if they're playing the number one ranked team in the country, or number 14, they continue to fight and are never going to lay down. Timeout is called. Gowler looking for Bryant and met by a brick wall of the Gophers play she knew exactly where the outside set was going set it up and allowed her middle to get involved his pins for how well they've been blocking especially of late and a great example there Lobbyik reading that off speed perfectly Master awkwardly has to get it over to Hansen now to Grote on the other side Extended rally, a big dig from Shaftmaster and kept up. Hansen with the drill. Two having to deal with that back-to-back -back nights. Yeah, the physicality between Minnesota and Wisconsin, very similar. Maryland got blocked off the court last night 13 times in a three-set match. They have to do a better job of swinging high. Off the bump set, it is gross. Dug by Dowler. Schmidt is denied, and Minnesota right there again. Schmidt had to readjust, throws the back row. Always a spark at the service line. Maryland in system, though. One on one, the outside, Julia Hansen with the denial. Targets Booker this time, leading to the overpass and a quick kill. And Maryland of the Terrapins, because it seems like from that point, they've been able to settle in in the second set. For the back row, Sire. And still in play. Booker getting the swing. Still kept up, and Minnesota will take the point all-out effort. 
shots on both sides. Good defensively in the backcourt. Julia Hansen was asked this week specifically about Shaftmaster's defense. She said she does not get the credit that she deserved. Lily Gunter gets it into play. Hawalea off the middle. Another kill for the fifth-year senior. Leads the team with 18 aces coming into tonight. Ross denied up the middle. Minity right there. And once more, Minnesota's block. Free ball for the Gophers. Goes to Looker. And she goes right off that block, powering it through. And Minnesota now leading 2 and nothing on their home court. Right above her, familiar name, Raven Colvin. Shaftmaster beautifully done with the dump to start off set number three for Minnesota. Sire makes it tough. And Dowler finds the exact spot on the floor for the kill. <laughs> Wouldn't know it looking at the gopher bench. Olivia's great. There's another look at it. I mean, from that angle, the ball looks in. Looks like it clips that line on the way out. Based on that look, the ball looks in. All but one set of the previous six matches. Shaftmaster getting the Terrapins out of system, but they're still able to pick up the kill, landing just short of that back line. That ball, that's a play that's normally routine for Zainab Palabiak crossing into that seam. That's a play that, as a libero, you have to make. Dowler goes cross court to Sire. Right there, Palabia. Schnitta chased down by Osavito. Rhodes on fire in this match. Fire in her swing. Five nothing run. Sire has that tipped away. Palabiak flying in. Sire slicing that cross court. With 18 and match point. <laughs> Appropriately ending on a strong block. An untouchable performance at the net by Minnesota.